Okay. Let me zoom in. So circles. The formula of a circle, the equation of a circle with the center at the origin, zero comma zero. The radius is, we don't know, just r. It's x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So whatever the radius is, I have to actually square it. So let's look at example one. Write the equation of the circle with the center at zero, zero in a radius of two. So since my radius is two, I have to do r squared. So that's gonna be x squared plus y squared equals two squared. And then you simplify, do the math, you get x squared plus y squared equals four. So that's pretty easy, right? On example two, write the equation of a circle with zero, zero at my center and a radius of two rad three. Well, two radical three squared means that the two gets squared and the rad three gets squared. So it's four times and then, so you know, two squared is four. Rad three squared is just three. So that's gonna be 12 and that's where the 12 came from. Number one, write the equation of a circle with center zero, zero and radius of seven. Okay, so you guys try that on your own. It starts out with x squared plus y squared, but then the radius is seven. So go ahead and try that one on your own. And then someone tell me what you got. Is it, um, is it x squared plus y squared equals 49? Yes, it is. Excellent. Okay, next one, number two. It's a zero, zero, x squared plus y squared equals and then this go ahead i'm not even gonna say it you try is it um x squared plus y squared equals 11. it sure is great job because in case anybody wasn't sure why radical 11 squared is just 11. good all right so graphing, I'm given the center is zero, zero, make a point. Then it says that the radius is four. So I'm gonna go to four in all directions. I don't need to write it, but you see, okay? All right, I'm moving on. Now I'm gonna give you some equations. Let's have this one be number three and this one be number four. Cause the formatting is off a little bit. Number three, graph the circle with the center at zero, zero and a radius of rad five. Well, I really don't know how long rad five is. Normally I like to keep things in radical form, but radical five is 2.2. So I'm going to go 2.2 in all directions. Right? And I would draw my circle. The number four, am I going too fast, you guys? I'm gonna slow down. <laughs> you have to speak to me because otherwise. Yeah, you can slow down a little bit. Okay, I will. So. On number four, it's not in the proper format. 
and I really need the X squared and the Y squared to be on the left side. So something needs to move. Tell me what needs to happen on number three. Um, the Y needs to be added on the side of the X and the X needs to be subtracted to the side of 16. <gasps> I liked half of what you said. I liked how you said to get, to add the Y squared to the left. And the reason that I want you to freeze there is because now the X is on the left. I added the Y squared, it's on the left. And the only thing alone is 16. Oh. So this is perfect. This right here is perfect. However, what's the actual radius? Because you know how this represents R squared, but I want to know what radius is. So someone tell me the radius. Four? Yeah, it's very good. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four in each direction. And then, so sometimes, you know, you're going to need to alter the equation and that's easily done. Number five, okay. Write the equation in the circle graph below. It's zero, zero center. And then three comma zero is the, point on the circle. What's my radius of this circle? Three. How far? I interrupted somebody. Can, can you say that again? Oh, it's three. It's three. X squared plus Y squared equals three squared so don't just put equals three because it's always the radius squared. X squared plus Y squared equals nine. Okay. Now, example four requires a little bit of thought. So let's zoom in and I need you with me, everybody with me. Write an equation of a line that is tangent. So I want to find an equation of a line, y equals mx plus b, that is tangent to this circle, x squared plus y squared equals 13, at the point. So this is the point where the tangent line hits the circle. So I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to draw a tangent line. Remember our tangent line? This is from geometry. It's just a line that touches it one spot. So there's my tangent line. And that's the radius Now, the radius hits the tangent line at the ordered pair two comma three. So that is my x, y, and I am asked, find the slope of the radius. Step one, find the slope of the radius. Okay. Um, let me read the rest of the instructions to you because I know what to do, but it just occurred to me that I have not finished reading the instructions, which is always horrible in math. Read the instructions, read the instructions, find out what is it asking me to do. Recall from geometry that a line is tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius. Here it is, radius, purple tangent line, perpendicular, purple, just kidding. 
purple perpendicular. So we must find the slope of the line containing the radius using zero, zero, and two, three. So first I'm gonna find the slope. We want the line perpendicular to this line. I wanna know the y equals mx plus b of the purple line. So the slope of the radius, step one. Uh, then we want the line perpendicular to this line. So find the negative reciprocal of this slope. Negative reciprocal means perpendicular slope and use it along with the point two comma three. I think that paragraph right there was extremely confusing. So I'm gonna break it down for you and I'm going to go slowly through it. I need to find the slope of this radius because if I wanna find the slope of the purple line, they're opposite reciprocals, you know? Here's the two ordered pairs for the slope of the line, zero, zero, and two comma three. By the way, everything I'm writing is typed out right here. I'm just writing it again because I think it's important for me to clarify. Three minus zero over two minus zero. This is the slope of my radius, three halves. The slope of the purple line needs to be perpendicular. The slope of the purple line needs to be perpendicular to three halves. What's the perpendicular slope of three over two? Perpendicular slope of three halves. Opposite reciprocal, negative reciprocal. Negative two thirds. Thank you. So I now am finding the equation of the purple line. I know that the slope of this purple line is negative two thirds. Then I know that it passes through the point two comma three. So now let's go back to algebra one. Here it is. Y equals MX plus B. Let's look at the typed. Y is three. Three equals M negative two thirds times x two plus b. Remember this? I made this three become a nine thirds because it's equivalent. Three is the same as nine thirds. And now I have similar um, denominators. So I found out that my y-intercept is 13 thirds. So my equation of the line is as follows negative two thirds X plus four and one third. I change it to four and one third because I know that um, a four and one third is easy to graph a Y intercept. 13 over three, what kind of Y intercept is that? You have to change it to a mixed number. So example four was a lot, it, it's all there at the typed, but I think that my handwritten kind of gives a little more clarity and it's easier to understand. Okay. I'm now gonna turn the page. Your homework is on the back side. It's this page right here, circles homework one. I think everything is pretty self-explanatory and you can do it except for number four. Let's look at number four. The directions say, write the equation of the circle described. And number four gives me a center and a point. This doesn't give me the radius. I have to find the radius. How do I find the radius if I'm only given the center and a point on the circle? How do, again, I'm asking, 
how do I find the radius if all I'm given is the center and then this point on the circle? How do I find this radius? Is it radius three? No, the radius is not three. How do I find how long this purple line is? This is zero, zero. Here's the Pythagorean theorem. No, well, uh, not really. It, it's not the, I want you to give me another option. How far, if I know two ordered pairs, how do I find how long they are? Do you find the slope? No. I give you a point and I give you a point and I say, how far between these two points? What's the mathematical way that I find how far apart they are? Distance formula. Distance formula. Now the person that said Pythagorean theorem, you're gonna be like, hey. But the problem is this, this Pythagorean theorem, it would only work if the center's at zero, zero. And this happens to be like a three, four, five triangle, which is super convenient. But here's the distance formula, ready? Square root of x minus x squared plus y minus y squared. So, x minus x, three minus zero squared plus four minus zero squared. Square root of three squared plus four squared. Square root of nine plus 16. What's nine plus 16? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. My radius is five. So I'm gonna do. So the distance is five. Five long. X squared plus y squared equals five squared. But I have to write twenty-five. R squared, right? Five squared. Now, I feel that the rest are fine. And number 11, you're gonna do the same thing that you did on the front side, example four. But I wanna let you know that this five doesn't make a difference in my math problem at all. I'm gonna use this is my X and this is my Y. You have to find the perpendicular slope of the radius, which means the tangent line, you know. Okay, so, oh, let me stop the video.